The elevator pitch for the 2019 BMW X7 is a simple one. Build a slightly larger BMW X5 SUV with seating for seven passengers. But it's so much more than that. I mean, technically it's exactly that, but it's a much larger and more luxurious vehicle, growing by about nine inches longer overall. And that's gonna free up a whole lot of extra leg room, especially on the second row, where with the dual rear seat infotainment and the large panoramic moonroof, it's not a bad place for an executive to spend a long road trip. The third row, on the other hand, is still a bit wanting for legroom, but with a roof line that's a little bit taller, about two inches overall, at least you won't be lacking in headroom. But enough about that, let's get back up front and hit the road. The X7's cabin looks a lot like the X5's, but with a bit more shoulder room and an extra dollop of luxurious appointment. Looking around, it kind of feels like BMW borrowed some inspiration from the Volvo XC90 in Audi's design, but still kept the cabin looking like its own thing. This still feels very much like the best of BMW's design. My favorite elements of the interior include the $650 glass package, which upgrades the start button, the iDrive controller, and the shifter to glass items. I especially like that crystalline glass cut shifter with the floating X in the middle. I think it looks really great when it's not covered in fingerprints. I'm also digging the newest generation of BMW's iDrive technology in the dashboard. It's iDrive 7.0 this year, and it features two screens, both 12.3 inches. One is for your infotainment, and the other is your digital instrument cluster. And we've already seen this system in the BMW X5 and in the new 8 series, so you can check out our tech check to know what we think about it there. But the short story is that I think this is the best that BMW's tech has ever been. We've talked about iDrive, now let's talk about driving this thing for a moment. The X7's air suspension is comfortable, but surprisingly nimble underneath this full-size SUV. Now there's a bit more road noise than you'd probably get in some of the competition, but that's the trade-off you get for those driving dynamics, and I think it's worth it. Now it's available with two different engines. There is an inline six with a single turbo making 335 horsepower and 330 pound-feet. The step up is a V8 that makes 457 horsepower and 479 pound-feet. Guess which one we've got? It's the inline six, but it's actually the better engine, I think, for most people. 335 is a good amount of horsepower, even in a vehicle of this size, and the fuel economy is a lot better here. At an EPA estimated 22 combined, it's better than the V8 and better than the current generation Mercedes GLS. There's also a little bit of off-road cred available to the X7 in the form of the X off-road system. Now, checking that box adds a little bit of underbody cladding, a mechanical differential, and four different X off-road settings for things like X sand or X snow. It's almost like one of the X-Men is a member of BMW's marketing department. For those of you who are gonna spend most of your time driving on the road, the X7 is available with a full complement of BMW's driver aid systems, including adaptive cruise control, lane centering steering assist, and a feature called Assisted Driving Plus. Now we're not gonna test it today because it doesn't work under these conditions, but if you're under 45 miles per hour and in heavy traffic, you can actually set this thing up to steer itself with your hands off of the wheel. Once you get back up to speed, it'll warn you to put your hands back on the wheel and it becomes basically adaptive cruise again. Overall, I think this is a very strong entrant into the growing seven-seater luxury SUV class. Personally, I think I'd have this over something like a Range Rover or a current generation Mercedes-Benz GLS. That said, Mercedes is about to strike back with its 2020 GLS with its 48-volt mild hybrid system. That's going to offer better power, better fuel economy, and perhaps even better driving quality. So check back to see how we feel about that in a couple of months. The 2019 BMW X7 starts at around $74,000 for the inline six here. Stepping up to the V8 requires a price increase to around $93,000 before options, and there are plenty of options to choose from. This is a BMW after all. Close to fully loaded, our X-Drive 40 here is just short of the $100,000 club at around $97,000 as tested. Of course, you can find more detailed pricing information, our recommended spec, and see how it stacks up against the competition as part of our full review over on theroadshow.com.
The X7 is a bit larger than the X5, but it looks like the grill's grown faster than the rest of the vehicle. But I want to know, what do you think about the new look for BMW? Let us know in the comments below, but before you get down there, hit the subscribe button for even more cool reviews from the Roadshow crew.